Hey guys, wanted to go over something uh, in Dropbox called Selective Sync. It's a feature in the Dropbox app that will help us save some space on our computers. So as you know, we keep an archive of all your podcast episodes. So over time, especially as we get closer to like 100 or more episodes, that means a lot, a lot of space is being taken up. So we came up with a solution for that, and it involves Selective Sync, and I will explain that to you now. Um, so if you have Dropbox installed, which you should, you should have the icon up here in your taskbar. So just click that, and we're going to click the gear for settings, and we're going to click preferences. And then you have a few panels here. Under the account panel, you will see a line for selective sync, and we'll click change settings here. Now, here's what's going to happen. Um, what happens is after a, uh, a week or so of an episode being published, we move it into an archived folder, and that will help us free up space in our Dropbox folder. So let's uh, just use, I guess I don't have to show you on here. I can show you over here, Selective Sync. So we'll use Daily Helping as an example. So inside your episode folder, um, you have the episodes published. And inside that, something you may not have noticed, is an archived folder. So like I said, once everything's been published, it moves into the archived folder. So in your selective sync settings for your show, click your show name, click episodes published, and then uncheck archive. That means it will not sync to your computer. Um, so episodes, once they've been up, will go into the archive folder. They will get removed from your computer, but they stay in Dropbox, so don't worry, they're not gone. They just, uh, they, they're off your computer, so they help you save space. And that also means, by the way, if you're looking for older episodes, for example, here is the archive folder. You can see episodes 1 through 13 are in there. If you're looking for older episodes and you can't find them, that means that they are probably in this archive folder. So just be aware of that as well. And remember, if you don't have Dropbox installed on your computer, you do want to do that. It is definitely the easiest way to sync and upload files. We've had issues with clients trying to use the upload option on the Dropbox website, uh, especially for files that take a very long time. If it takes longer than an hour to upload, we've noticed a lot of problems with that. So um, if you have any questions about installing Dropbox, please let us know. And if you have any questions about the selective sync option, please let us know that as well. And thank you for watching.